हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कंटेनर्स एंड डॉकर्स हेयर आई हैव प्रेजेंटेड एन इमेज ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन एज वेल एज द कंटेनर विद यू सो दैट वी शुड नो द बेसिक डिफरेंस ऑफ द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग विच वॉज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन एंड नाउ बिन गॉन टूवर्ड्स द कंटेनर टेक्नोलॉजी सो वट वॉज द वर्चुअलाइजेशन फेसिलिटी uh we were having the infrastructure within us like cpu all the hardware equipments which were uh, are part of the infrastructure above that is the host operating system lying being it a window or any kind of operating system and on that operating system we used to install the hypervisor like vmware workstation or oracle's virtual boxes right and over that middleware or the virtualization layer which we called as hypervisor we are running number of the virtual machines or also known as the guest operating systems so these guest operating systems are responsible for running some specific applications including the environment of those applications such as their libraries as well as their binaries now if you look at the container uh, facility which is the very right side image so what it has been providing to us we need an infrastructure over that infrastructure is lying an operating system now on that operating system we are having directly a container engine installed which is responsible for running different different applications which are bounded within their own libraries right so this is the basic difference between the virtualization and the container technology so what we learned from here containers are isolating the softwares from the environment and they are ensuring that they should uniformly work despite the differences between the instances okay so this is the learning outcome from the previous slide so containers are actually working as an application virtualization facility we need not to virtualize the hardware here we are virtualizing the application here and what else we also are don't require number of uh, different different operating system images for running different different applications we are having only one core os and all the applications are actually sharing that core os and also there is no need of virtualizing the hardware for using it for different different operating system images right so who is doing it the core os is managing it at its own end then the last but not the least is the we are optimizing the infrastructure we are gaining the speed we are achieving the density here so if i have to uh, to tell you about the difference between the two containers as well as the virtualization facilities then i would like to say that container is a different kind of technology and virtualization is different the concept of virtual machines was came uh, some years before and the container is just the latest one so you could say that the benefits been provided by the containers are more in comparison to the virtual machines so this uh, image which has been provided here in this slide is depicting the same so both container and virtual machines are responsible for providing the consistent runtime environment as well as application sandbox but if i talk about if i am having very a uh, less space for the disk then i would not be able to run my virtual machine but containers will be running well remember uh, when we were using the practicals in the hands on lab facilities by vmware when you were having the less disk space then the system or the platform usually denies creating the virtual machine so second uh, thing is there the low overhead can be taken care by the container benefits but when we talk about the concept of virtual machines then overhead is uh, basically been there overhead arises within the physical machine when we are uh, installing number of operating system images on that particular physical machine now let's switch to the dockers now dockers are used with the container technology so what they are doing when we are using the containers 
when we want those containers to be shifted from one place or one platform to the another platform then we need the docker uh, technology over there so docker is a platform for developing for shipping and running the applications which are being used within the container technology so there are various products or tools which uh, came handy within the docker platform like Docker Engine is there, Docker Hub is there, there is a registry for the Docker, Docker Compose, Machine, Docker Data Center, and even Dockers for the Windows as well as for different different platforms like Mac is also been there. So if we have to learn about the architecture of the Docker, so this image uh, is fully satisfying all the needs for the architecture, which says there is a need for the Docker client, there is a need for the Docker host, there is a need for the Docker registry and as well as for the containers and images and Docker daemon. So we will learn all these components of the Docker architecture one by one in the next slides. So let's talk about the Docker engine first. So basically the Docker architecture is consisting of client and server kind of approach, right? So you need to install this Docker engine on the host machine. And basically the uh, Docker engine is consisting of three components. One is the server, which we also called as Docker daemon or Docker. And then another is the rest APIs, which are basically being used to instruct the Docker daemon about what to do. And there is a third kind of component. We called it as a command line interface. This is a, a place through which the clients or the user would be uh, providing some commands to the docker about what they want to do then is the third uh, the second component which is the docker client so as i say whenever the user want to interact with the docker they can interact there using the component called as the docker client so docker client will be there uh, for communicating to the docker daemon about what the client uh, the user exactly wants so when any Docker command runs, the client sends them to the Docker daemon, which carries them out, right? Then is the Docker daemon again. So Docker daemon or Docker listens to the different objects within the Docker. Like the objects can be an image. It could be a container. It could be different volumes or the networks. Also, it will have to listen to the API requests, which are being generated by the Docker. After this came the another component, which is the registries. We also call this Docker registry. This is a location where we are storing the Docker images. So normally uh, Docker hub lies within the Docker registries, which is responsible for storing the public uh, registry, right? We can store our private uh, uh, images too within these registries. Now the next concept is the Docker objects object could be the any component which is part of the docker like being it an image being it a container being it a volume or network then is about the images as i said images are being stored within the docker hubs so we are normally using the images which are a kind of read only templates which is consisting of some sort of instructions normally these are pulled from the docker hubs and we can use it about uh, as per the instructions being deployed on them. We can also customize them by creating and modifying the Docker images. Then the next is the component of containers. Now containers came in use when we are running the images. Now when we are having the image, which are uh, already in the form of a template, we store them in Docker container and it will provide us the, all the applications and the environment so that it should be run well at one simple isolated place. So containers are providing the isolation for these images. So how they are talking, they can uh, be using the Docker APIs, Docker command line interfaces, and uh, in order to start the containers, in order to stop the containers, to delete the containers, this is how we are using different, different components of the Docker architecture. I hope that you have enjoyed today's lecture.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनि